Is this like a like a newlywed game situation? And curb your enthusiasm is not part of that list. It. Yes, yeah. I he, have no idea. That was a complete guess, but I don't know how that's possible. Was my first acting gig ever on screen. I played a bellhop, and I was so green that if you watch carefully, you can actually see me look down for my mark to stop. This place is a no. I think maybe I don't know. There was a motel on this spot though, right? The Haven Air. I don't know. Guy. When the In the Heights trailer first came out, people were like, he's come so far, and there were pictures of me pushing the bellhop like cart next to me <laughs> pushing my Pinagua cart. That is awesome. I have no idea. I was just waiting for Bieber to be one of the answers. And Miley Cyrus. Ah! Must be Miley and her Eminem crew. I had just done Step Up to the Streets. I saw opening weekend in theaters. <laughs> yes. And our 14 year old star, Adam Savani, had a crush on her. She left a message for him saying, Oh my gosh, I love this movie. She didn't leave a number. He was like, How do I get her number? I was like, I don't know, but she has this YouTube channel. Let's challenge her to a dance battle. Miley and Mandy, we're going to challenge you to the biggest online dance battle in YouTube history. Two days later, she responded with her own music video with all her friends, including Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan, ah, which was a slap in our face. That's a real flex. It was pretty brutal. So then we came back with Lindsay Lohan, Chris Brown, Diana Ross. We had a whole crew come back This is the most 2008 thing I've ever heard in my life. This is like West Side Story, but online. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lynn Miranda. I know you don't know who I am, but I wore these pants and I'm willing to dance like an idiot. If you just give me the chance to just plug my show and reach the people. Uh, it's called In the Heights and Life is Sweet Show. Uh, something, something, blah, 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 blah. Helps that I get to kiss Karen Olivo. Eight, eight times a week, yo, the beat's going, but we keep going, cause we know we're moving, 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 we are moving we are moving and I didn't know Jonathan Groff, but I was like, well, this makes no sense if he's not in the video. And I was very lucky that we had a mutual friend in Karen Olivo. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I was just finishing up college and it was the week that Dawson's Creek was ending. I don't want to wait. That was a Thursday, the last episode, and Dawson gets a call from Steven Spielberg. <laughs> and I got a call from Steven Spielberg the following day on a Friday. Somewhere there's footage of you making the Dawson cry face with the phone to your ear. <laughs> and he said he saw my short film. Once Steven Spielberg uh, sort of puts your name out there and you're a kid that nobody knows, uh, people pay attention. So that's how it all started. And now you guys are both making musicals about Latinos. <laughs> same time. That's crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Full circle. Thought? And by the way, they were shooting West Side Story down the street from us on one of these days. They were so close, their catering truck was in our shot. So I was like, bro, Steven, can you move, can you move that 
truck, please. We were shooting the finale and they were shooting Maria. I know, because I snuck over. <laughs> I don't know, Lynn left our set to go to their set. We were wrapped, we were wrapped. They were doing a oh, night we shoot. Wrapped, okay. <laughs> fair, fair. This is terrible. I should know this. You really should. I know that there's no nine train now. There's no nine train now. Hey. <laughs> hey. I also added J Lo takes the six train to the Bronx. First <laughs> album was called On the Six. That's true. That's true. That's debatable, but go ahead. Oh, uh, yes. I know, it was too high, but but 150 bits seemed too low. And then also, like, begins is a very subjective term. You could argue that it begins at 192nd going south and that Inwood starts from 193rd up. Get at us in the comments. <laughs> we had many debates about what is Washington Heights and where does it start and where does it end. Absolutely. For sure. And we had many different... Well, you know, uh, it's interesting because one of the lyrics references a Washington Heights impossibility. There is no actual elevated train in Washington Heights proper. The elevated train of the IRT starts on Dykeman 200th Street. So Vanessa commutes. This is really a musical theater question, secretly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because there's a whole extended scene in Guys and Dolls about cheesecake versus strudel at Junior's. Going strictly by my own personal preference, I'd say more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? And that's the bet that gets Sky Masterson involved in the plot of the movie, which also has the great line of Marlon Brando going, Daddy, I got cider in my ear. Daddy, I got cider in my ear. Either way, it's a lot of songs. Not as many as Hamilton. <laughs> yes! I only know that because the amount of debate we had to have of like, how many songs can we fit into a movie? And they were heated. And I wrote a hundred songs <laughs> for a night, and I have no sense of what the final tally was <laughs> of the ones that made it in. If I get this wrong, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> Wait, am I do doing too little? No, no, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> Damn, we only joking. Damn, we only joking. Stay broke then. I also wrote my first draft down, which was, "Damn, never mind then. I'm fine then." A little fun fact inside a trivia question. 